Hi everyone and welcome back to Barbie Dolls of the Week. I've got my Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat, the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat shirt on. That's what this is from if you're wondering. But let's move on to the dolls this week. So this week I want to show you four newer Fashionista dolls um, and one that I just got this week and then one other special guest who I'll show you at the end. So let's start with the one that I just got this week. And this is Barbie Fashionista number 201. By the way, I have 199 and I have 201, but not 200 at this point. There is a 200, but I don't have her. And I, I don't know if I want her to look and see when I see her maybe in person. Okay, so let's go back to 201. And that's this person or lady. Um, she has this particular dress on or whatever you want to call it uh, t-shirt type thing I, I don't know but it's one of those unflattering dresses I mean I don't hate the pattern although I don't like it but I mean it's one of those where no shape is given by the doll I mean even if you do this to me it looks better as far as the fit like cinch it in in the back give it some shape so that you realize, oh, yep, yeah, she is, she does have some shape, even if she is a bit curvy. Uh, now, let's talk about the hair. Now, I want to show you the picture on the front, which is a cute picture as usual, and then the, on the back, look, this one here, I showed you this a video or two ago and said I wanted, was planning on getting her, and now I have her. But look at the difference between her hair on that picture and in person. I mean, it looks like a completely different doll to me. You know, it's like same color hair. That's about it. Now, is it horrible? No. But I wanted that doll with that hair, you know. And I don't honestly see how this long, loose hair could even possibly look like this. Now, I could be wrong because I'm not a hairstylist, although I play occasionally. And um, somebody, I'd like to see somebody get it into that look. But yeah, I'm just really disappointed because it should be shorter, in my opinion, and mirror flared out. And I mean, I don't know. Normally when a doll comes, it looks closer than this, I feel like. Of course, the necklace is a cheap plastic piece of, well, plastic. And um, I want to see actually if I take it off. So I'm going to be looking for something else to put her in. And by the way, there is no pattern on the back, which actually I like the back better. I will say that. Um, yeah, I don't know where they come up with some of this. And I mean, even it's got this good vibes word, but it's kind of upside down on the dress. And so are some of the patterns and hearts and stars. And that's okay, but it's just not attractive. I mean, does anyone think this is attractive? I hope hope not but hey everyone's entitled to their own opinion and you know it's not the best colors it's green and pink and orange and blue all together so yeah I'm not a fan of the outfit again best view from the back um, so yeah I wish it was just a solid color I mean what's wrong with that with maybe just like a little something around the waist to cinch it and it would look so much better and you know I don't know why they feel they have to add these things but yeah, I guess it adds a little bit of interest, but it's just not, not, uh, it's cheap looking, bottom line. Now here's a closer look of her face. So she's got a very nice face. And like I said, I don't mind her hair the way it is. It's just, to me, that was false advertising. It's one thing to have a prototype picture and the doll looks a little different, but this is just like totally different as far as the hair, except the color. So yeah, anyway, I don't like feel like oh I'm gonna return her but you know it's just you know these dolls keep going up and so often I hear people say oh it's only a $20 doll what do you expect well <clears throat> a couple things about that <clears throat> I expect quality <clears throat> excuse me and I also expect you know a closer reproduction than what this is as far as the hair now this obviously isn't a $20 doll. it's an $11 doll so now that the fashionistas are $10.99 and that's what I paid for her, 
I mean, if there's one I'm really disappointed in, I am going to return it. Because that's, to me, it should be better than that. And, you know, keep in mind, I, I started collecting dolls in the 80s. And you could get a beautiful doll for like $8.99. And you didn't have to worry about quality. And yes, it's different now, 30-something years later. But, I mean, I'm just saying. So when somebody says... It's only a $20 doll, and they were talking about, I think, some of the uh, Barbie looks dolls or something. I still expect it to look good and to have some quality, and, and usually they do in that line, but, you know, I don't know. Lately, some of the clothes especially are looking really cheap, I think. Okay, let's move on. Now, I may have shown this one already, but I just wanted to show it again if that's the case. This is number 199 this doll here, Fashionista. And I think this one is really nice. Now, that's why I want to show her, even if I showed her again, because she's worth a second look. First of all, she looks like what was promised. Here's her little picture, which I just absolutely love. And now her hair's a little curl there at the bottom. Well, you know, anybody can work on that and try to do that. So, But, I mean, in general, she looks like the doll. The hair looks the same. And if you look at the picture on the back, uh, let's see where she's at on here. She's right here. I mean, that's what she looks like. I, I don't see many differences. So, yeah, I, I think this is a much better, closer look at what... Uh, was. Now, this is a tall uh, Barbie, so if you look at these two together, this one is, I believe, curvy, but, boy, she's just, like, very... Not, not that curvy, especially when you cinch the dress. I mean, and you see what her actual shape is. So when you put these next to them, okay, the, obviously there's a height difference. And she's thinner and, you know, more traditionally model-like, I guess. Um, her shoes are the ones that, uh, yeah, I think I did because I was telling you my cat in the beginning really liked these shoes and wanted to play with them. Just, you know, playing around, not trying to take them off. She's also got that matching bracelet. So, yes, I did show you that. I remember saying that. And I do like this outfit. You know, it's one of the better ones I've seen in a while. So, okay, just a review on that one then. Um, I don't think I've shown this doll before, and this is on, pictured on the back of this same package. The, the next two are Fashionista Cans, and this is number 193. And then we're going to have number 203. So 193 and 203. So here's 193. Um this is the Ken with the rooted hair that they came out with not too long ago. Um, <clears throat> he might be a slim Ken, I'm not sure, because he does look rather small. <clears throat> Especially when you put him next to, we'll use this guy as a, uh, see he's shorter, squat, a little squatter, definitely a little uh, thicker maybe. is kind of short and, and a little bit thick. Um, so, I don't know, what's that considered, like a soccer player build or a swimmer's build? I don't know. But um, I like this doll. He's okay. Um, face is kind of nice. I'm not thrilled with the hair this way. I mean, the way it was pictured, again, is, you know, looser. And I think that could maybe easily be done with um, some hot water, maybe. You take this kind of, you know, hard shell-like thing out and... Um, I think this could be a lot better. His outfit, again, I don't know why they have to have these patterns on things that look like, you know, I don't know, maybe it's for children. Imagine that, a doll that's dressed for children. Um, you know, and so maybe it appeals to them more than it does me, but um, yeah, I don't care for that very much, but it's, it's not offensive. Um, you know, he doesn't have a lot of movement in his hands, or arms, I mean. Um, the normal up and down, and of course the legs don't bend. The one thing I like about fashionistas nowadays compared to even, a, you know, four or five years ago is when you sit them down, they don't, you know, like especially the girls, their legs don't automatically spread like it was for a while, especially on some of the beach dolls. I uh, hated that. It's so unladylike. <laughs> I don't want anyone to sit with their legs sprawled out like that, though. Um... So when you sit, for instance, this one, I mean, she sits just fine. And also, um, some of them even will stand on their own, you know, it depends on the doll. 
definitely the male dolls do. You know, like I'll try this one, and you can see he stands on his own. Okay, so let's bring this back around. So yeah, I, I like him, but I do think that the face is just a little bit odd or different. Again, that's not a bad thing, but um, what do you guys think of this one? I'd be curious to know. Again, I would like to take that shirt off and try something else on him, but we'll see what I can come up with. And then the last fashionista today is this one, which is number 203, I believe I said. This is the one with a really dark skin. Um, you know, this is probably one of the darkest skinned uh, pins that I have, if not the darkest. I mean, I've got this in a line of other male fashionistas. This, um, I love this shirt, by the way. The colors on him are wonderful. No, no weird pattern. Uh, they do have this, I don't, it's not a pattern, but a, like a stripe in the form of a V. Um, I assume that's something to do with Kentucky or... I don't know, somewhere. Um, I'm thinking of Tucky because of the K, but obviously that's Ken. But it just makes me think of like a school-related shirt. Uh, but anyway, whatever it is, I like it. And of course, it's solid in the back. He's got the jean shorts, got the normal white tennis shoes that they almost all seem to have. Um, I like his face and I like his hair. It's very interesting. Uh, it's, you know, molded on. It's not um, anything loose or... Uh, rooted like that one so you know that would have been nice but I don't know how easy that would be to do in this short of a braid I mean actually I've had female ones out the wazoo with wonderful braiding but uh, not a male one so I would have liked to have seen that um, and same kind of you know movement of the arms and legs and his seating ability or sitting ability so yeah um, thoughts on this one let me know what you think about all these. And then last but not least today, and i got to fix this little section of dolls before they topple over. Um, I bought this because I'm a big fan of this performer. And also I thought, you know, what a great um, set, let's call it. Uh, this is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. And, of course, she's a kind of a camp classic. Um... One of her sayings, unpleasant dreams. Uh, so they've got the Elvira in here. And then the um, another Elvira head where she's winking. Now, I'm not sure how that goes on her. I assume one comes off and one goes on, but I'm not sure. I haven't taken this out yet, but I may do that. Here's the back of the package. You can take it all in. So um, Cassandra Peterson, I believe, is her full real name. Uh, this is a character, obviously, that she plays. And so, yeah, there's several other pieces in here, uh, like a, some weird skull thing here and some other stuff. Um, I think they did a pretty good job on this. I mean, it has a cloth outfit, got the famous breasts. Um, obviously, I don't know if w that's what she uses in the regards to that, but uh, we don't need to go into that today. So, yeah, a great figure um, of Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. I've never had an Elvira figure, and so with some um, money that I had on Amazon, decided to get her uh, while I had a good deal, and um, I found, a, I thought, a pretty good price. For, I was like $34.99, and then, you know, with the, with the money I had in the um, credit, I, I didn't pay the full amount anyway. So, yeah, I mean, it's always when you can get a good deal, that's the time to get something like this because obviously it's not the cheapest, not the most expensive either. I mean, you know, some of these type of wonderful figures. And by the way, this is from a company called NECA. Uh, I don't see it on here. But, oh, yeah, here it is. NECA. I believe that's how that's pronounced, but I don't know. And uh, it says 40 years of Elvira. So she's been around quite a while. Um, and, you know, by the way, I love, if you've never seen Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, the movie that she was in, the first one, I believe, excellent. Funny, funny, campy. I mean, so many quotable lines. It's just amazing. And then there's a sequel, which isn't as good, but still worth a look. So, um, with that, I'm going to thank you for watching today and say I will see you next time. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and look at four fashionistas and Miss Elvira herself 
and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.